Hello book tribe and welcome back to my channel The Bookshelf Chronicles. Today we will be discussing my second book that I read. Um, Sorry to Disrupt the Peace by Patty Yumi Cottrell. Um, as you can see, the cover is pretty colorful, uh, which would be the reason why I picked it, as I said last time. Um, upon further research, I found out that this is not the original cover of the book. Uh, the original cover of the book kind of is uh, it's black and gray and it has a waterfall in front. It's kind of boring, I guess you could say. Um, this book was written in 2017, it has 263 pages. Um, I purchased the book at Barnes & Noble for $18. Um, it is currently available for $14, but if you go in the Barnes & Noble's Marketplace, which is where other people sell back their books so that you can buy it for a cheaper price, um, they're used, the book starts at $4. So it's a really good price if you don't mind having a used book. Um, this is a fictitious novel and it falls in the mystery category. Um, I recommend this book for young adults. Um, it has some profanity in it. Um, so, I mean, it just kind of depends on what you like uh, in a book. So, um, this book explores suicide. So, um, the main character of the book, she gets in the beginning of the book, it starts with a big boom. It's like, boom. He committed suicide, she's going home, she's trying to figure out what happened, why did he do it, what made him come to the decision to commit suicide. Um, and it starts with a bang, but then it loses itself. It's like nothing really of importance happens in the book until about um, page 196. And as I said, this book has 263 pages. So you're kind of toward the end of the book when it starts to kind of pick up a little bit. And the only thing that kind of picks it up is when she finds the suicide note and the reason why he did it. Um, she finds it on his computer. Um, so that is the only point that we get to that actually starts to speed up the book. But other than that, it's pretty slow. There's nothing much to really go um, on. Uh, she also in this book makes rude comments about Catholics. So if you take a thing in that, then this book is not for you. Um, one thing that I did find interesting about the book is she uses a lot of simile and metaphor. She does a really good job of painting the picture of each story in your head. I really appreciated that. Um, she is called Sister Reliability. That is her nickname. That's um, the young people who she counsels and she works with at her job but that's what they call her sexual liability because no matter what time they call when they call her she's always there for them um i loved the big bug story in this book um, it was really funny but it had a really serious tone to it but it was a story that kind of made you think um and <clears throat> yeah the book is just slow guys it's just like what uh. um i have a favorite quote a couple of favorite quotes from the book um, one of them says, personally, I think my life was beautiful. No one else would think it's beautiful, but it was enough for me. You have to believe in what you're doing. And that quote comes from page 240. As I said, here we go toward the end of the book. Uh, you only have about 23 pages left before she's, you know, I, I don't know. It just wasn't kind of a good book. If you, yeah, I fell asleep on it a couple of times. So, uh, now the question remains um will this book be added to my bookshelf with great honor or tossed to the curb with disgrace i'm gonna toss this book to the curb this did not earn its spot on my bookshelf uh it's not a book i would read again especially because it was just so slow and it didn't pick up until the end so uh sorry to disrupt the piece was not the book for me uh, so next week the book that i will be doing my review on is actually the second book to uh dirty pretty things dirty pretty things was the first review that i did he came out with another book so i will be reading bitter sweet love um on the back of the book this time he always keeps it really simple nothing too long on the back of the book he puts falling in love is not rational it's madness a beautiful wonderful moment of magnificent insanity I'm excited about it. If you look at the cover of the book, he has really interesting covers to the book. They kind of are like an illusion on the book. Um, so I'm really excited to be starting this book. As I said, it's his second book that he wrote. 
uh, bittersweet love is what I'll be discussing next week. Um, so until next time, book tribe, uh, tune in next week so we can figure out whether or not this was the book for me. Um, I'm really excited to start this book. So next time, book tribe.